way up four acts in the second half. Please give them all your love, all your respect. Please welcome us to your next act with you, Mr. Steve Pivotal! Fuck you, Jerry. I, can, I can't literally feel my legs. So, hello, homosexuals and people that came in by accident. I'm allowed to make that joke because I'm a minority. I'm disabled. You can see that. I don't just... Ah! I don't, shut up. You know. <laughs> so, everything I'm about to tell you tonight is a complete and utter lie. The set, like, I wrote this down. I didn't, like... This just didn't happen organically or anything. I was studying this for a few days. So... Basically, hopefully, I'll transfer to you through your like visual and auditory systems in an aesthetic and pleasing manner. So, a lot of people will notice that I have a canny resemblance to a well, well-known USC fighter. Yeah, Ronda Rousey's really let herself fucking go. Did you like that one, Jerry? Did you? Did you like it? Misdirection. There you see. That's what we do. So, obviously, people say I look like Conor McGregor. Had he been hit by a fucking bus? <laughs> and then turn to heroin to deal with the vast physical trauma. <laughs> so, in 2005, uh, I was suicidal, depressed, turned to drink and drugs to self-medicate. Uh, took, took to my motorbike, 150 miles an hour, slammed into a solid brick wall, not one of those McDonald's fake walls. This was a good, well bit. this was an Irish built wall. Uh, broke two vertebrae in my back, uh, skull damage, broke seven vertebrae, no, two, two in my back, seven in my neck, uh, compound fractures of my collarbones, uh, ankles, legs, the whole lot, the whole lot. I was lucky not to get hurt. <laughs> but the, there is a funny part to it, I was then transferred to the National Rehabilitation Hospital where I stayed there for 12 months, uh, paralyzed from the chest down, had to learn to, I guess you have to have been there. <laughs> Testing, testing. That's fucked up everything up. So I was gonna tell a few one-liners, but I've no cocaine. I had to think about. I had to think about. Uh, let's do that. I had to think about this joke for a long time because it's one of these ones you don't know whether you should tell it or not because straight away it comes across as really, really overtly racist. Not edgy, completely racist. But then about 1.4 seconds after I tell it, and I have timed this, you kind of get it. So black people, they're not that bright. <laughs> so, uh, I don't really need this, I use it as a crutch. <laughs> See, I, you, like, you like that one now, Jerry, didn't you? See, because, like, a crutch... I'll try to explain it for the benefit of Jerry. You see, a crutch is a physical aid. You use it, like, to walk. And then a crutch is also, like, a psychological tool you use to... You see, Jerry, it's a crutch. Fuck them. So I was down in an anonymous uh, uh, pub there recently enough, and I was in a wheelchair at the time, so I was in this anonymous pub, the House Hotel. This anonymous pub, anyway, it's, it's down there near the Spanish Arch. So this anonymous pub, you know across from on Cop on Tay, there it's coming. So you can kind of see the wall around it, people drinking it. But I was down there anyway, and I was having a few drinks, and uh, I noticed this woman, she was abusing the wheelchair toilets. I know you were hoping to hear something else there. So I just, I said I'd go over anyway, and I wait outside the toilet and she came out anyway and she was like, she was very, you know, what's the word, bashful, cuntish, whatever about it. And she was like, oh my god, you poor thing, you poor thing, you must fucking hate me. And I was like, no, no, you're grand, but karma's a bitch, enjoy your fucking accident. <laughs> that never happened though, that never happened. See, I told you at the start that this is all made up in my head. But I like to think in some like alternative reality universe that she's there somewhere, forlorn, depressed, sitting in her own piss in a wheelchair, waiting for me, actually built like Conor McGregor, to finish immorally using the bathroom. So that's basically been me. I've been Steve O'Timothy. I was going to leave you on a fucking fabulous joke, but I can't really do that. So I will just leave you with this thought. That's it. <laughs> Timothy! 
Um, yeah. <laughs>